Hello, this is Julie. Happy Cyber Monday. I just wanted to come to show you uh, some things that I have thrifted in the last week or so. I did work uh, the holiday weekend, Friday included, so I did hop over to some Goodwills on Friday for 50% off and sp spent most of the evening doing that and then my daughters had us over for pizza so it was a great day. I found this vintage tea towel. I just thought it was too cute. And actually there's some of these online as well or at least similar. And then I just basically got some of my, I guess, bed and butter type items that I sell quite frequently. This is Waverly Valance. I have sold that pattern before. I have a Pottery Barn Kids crib sheet, and there were actually three of them, so my eyes lit up because, of course, we like same items, so you can... Um, either do lists similar or you can um, have a, a mount of three in your listing but two of the three had stains on them. They're crib sheets. What do you expect? Then I find, found this Pride and Prejudice trivia card game and of course I'm thinking of Christmas and the things that I can buy for my family. Um, this looked brand new and my daughter loves the Pride and Prejudice book series. So I picked this up and of course you have to look at comps, right? And this is routinely going for $35. So I talked myself out of giving it to my daughter because who is she going to play this trivia game with? She likes the book series. I don't know of any of her friends that do. I know nothing about it. So it really would not be something that she would want, right? So we will see. It may end up in under the tree in, with her name on it, but for the time being, I hope that it sells. Here we have some placemats um, by Waverly Sweet Violet. That pattern sells real well. I have a pillowcase that says um, Vera on it, and it's not Vera Wang, and it's not Vera Bradley. It's a uh, I think it's a vintage, um, I have, have a scarf by her, I think it's from like the 60s or such, I have to look into that more. Then I have some Pottery Barn pillowcases, shams, uh, I sold a duvet cover with this bird pattern on it, and then on top there is a Pottery Barn embroidered pillow sham. I did get a few pieces of clothing. This is a biking shirt, and I forget what the the name brand right now, but it has a scorpion on it, and it'll sell relatively well. I did get a box of cards. Um, I thought they were Christmas cards. They um, have win a winter scene on them. Well, I guess it does have a Christmas tree in the background, but it's Ziggy. I've always enjoyed Ziggy, and so I pick up character Christmas cards because those sell well. I've sold um, Charlie Brown, Mickey Mouse, Maxine from Hallmark, um, and various other um, characters, but it just says, Hi, it's just me looking in on you. I might just have to keep, keep that, but we'll see. And then I found, uh, is it Hilo? Hilo? Hattie 3X dress, new with tags. So I th hom hoping that that is a winner. <clears throat> and then I found a robe. Actually, my daughter found it, and I asked her if she still needed a robe. She said yes. She said, like, that pink one over there. So I grabbed it. It was new with tags, Laura Ashley. I said, mm, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. When I can go to a thrift store and find a few robes that she likes, why would I sell a Lori, Laura Ashley new with tags? Or why would I give that to her when I could sell it? But 
again it might end up under the tree with her name on it and then back here is um, LL Bean 1X robe I have been selling robes and nightgowns plus sizes and they do well here is another kind of like a house dress nightgown it is a 3x and then um, this is a spider I believe it's sports athletic well wear and they do quite well and then I found there were several of them and if these sell I might go back and see if I can forget the other ones but they are a bunch of new with tags plaid vintage pants and the tad tan one above has some wool in it so that would even be good to sell now this one is more of a lightweight summer pant but I know I've heard tell of hipsters and whatnot that like that style and what better can you get than new with tags uh, these are an average size if one is 36 34 the other one's 34, 38 maybe. So those will be interesting to see. I found some Harley shirts and I just picked up one mainly. I know a lot of the shirts have destinations on them and this was Cherokee, Iowa, which may not be a hot spot, but I thought the subject matter of uh, showing some um, Native American type icons and a wolf I thought that might be appealing and it has a nice pattern on the back as well one of my scores if you can see them are Harley Davidson boots and the Goodwill had marked them for $49.99 and this was color tag sale so I got these for a dollar ninety nine so I don't have to sell them for much to make some money but I'm looking forward to seeing what I can get out of these they're ten and a half so a nice size they have a um, stock number inside so I was able to look them up and even find the the uh, model name of them which hopefully will be helpful because there's a lots of different styles of Harley Davidson boots so I was happy to get that and then there is this if you can ignore the bright colored blazer behind it. It is a Denim and Supply by Ralph Lauren. And it is um, both the front and the back have some flag on them. Now I don't normally spend $7.50. Woo, I know it was $15. I got it for half price. But I have been finding men's unique coats. And they have been selling for quite some, you know, quite well and so um, there have been a few of these that have sold and they go for upwards of a hundred dollars so this I believe is a uh, extra large but just a really um, nice coat I checked all the snaps and make sure they were working make sure there was nothing funky with the pockets the inside looks really good so I'm excited for that and as soon as I click off making this uh, video I am going to list that and the boots so those are a few of the things that I have collected <clears throat> over the last week or so and I have been um, speaking of the Harley Davidson boots over the weekend I sold three pair of boots so I think people are getting ready for winter for sure but I'm just curious if anybody else has the same phenomena that I do that you see something in a store you pick it up thinking to sell it and thinking in the back of your mind if it doesn't sell so-and-so in my family will enjoy it I have to admit it makes purchasing much more easy because you can't lose if it doesn't sell it makes a ready-made gift so I pray that you are all doing well, listing, selling, and thank you so much to the selling community here on YouTube. We'll talk to you later. Bye.